Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to be going over uh, Circa Millions uh, contest week uh, 11, uh, our analysis and selections for that. So first, let's talk about what happened in week 10. Week 10 was the start of the next quarter. Um, they go through, you know, they had like weeks one through four was a quarter, five through nine was a quarter, and week 10 was another one. It's, it's a cool little consolation prize where, you know, if you if you are the winner of that group of games, it's uh, upwards of six figures. So it's good to go off to a good start there. Nonetheless, uh, let's take a look at the uh, what happened last week and we'll recount what we ended up doing. So uh, as usual, we play the Thursday game because it's always rates to be the lowest owned. And we talk about this a lot, you know, that there's certainly a matter of certain degree of risk of playing the Thursday game because when you play the Thursday game, you then have to put in all your selections for the whole weekend. And if you do that, you run the risk of missing out on significant uh, closing line value. Um, but I think that the benefit you get from playing the low owned play, it, I think exceeds that. Uh, well, you know, that remains to be seen. Uh, for those of you that are literally the first time watching this, again, this is not your typical against the spread video. You know, this is a contest that we're in. We're not, we're not trying to beat the bookie. We're trying to beat all the people. So what our um, objective is, is not to pick who we like, like that matters anyway, right? The, our objective is to pick who we think other people won't be on and presume that, you know, across, you know, infinite samples, it'll be a 50% win rate. So we want to get leverage. We want to play teams that no one else is playing. Um, that's just the way it goes. And what we've been doing is trying to find patterns and try to find biases that people are playing. And we've been really, really strong with that. The one thing I, I lied about, I promised I would do, but I just haven't figured out how yet, is there are two ways to report results, right? I, I could care less, honestly, about how I do, you know, how my teams actually do. What's important is to figure out whether you made the low on play or not, because in the long run, these things are going to be, you know, going to even out to 50%. So you want to play the low on, low on play. Um, and I just never had the opportunity to do that. One thing I've been noticing, though, is we have been on mostly low of the low on plays with the you know method that we've been using. There's one thing that we again we just I just I'm very stubborn about this one thing that we're going to get to that I just presume should be low on, but it just isn't. So let's talk about it. Um, let's review what we ended up doing in week number ten. Week ten, so we played the Bears uh, and they covered. So that was that was obviously good, but forget that they were the lowest owned team on the whole board. Uh, then we went, we played all those six and a half point um, underdogs. We thought, again, I keep thinking that these six and a half point road dogs are going to be really unpopular because people like to be around that key number. They like to play home teams, but it just doesn't seem to be the case. You know, so like we took the Texans and they covered, but they were they had 878 people on them. You know, we took the Browns and they covered, but they had 1,100 people on them. Um, we took the... Who was the other six? In it? We took the commanders, right? They, well, so we, we, we did well. I mean, all four of these teams won, but they ended up, you know, being pretty, you know, not high owned, but pretty high owned. And then I was between three teams for my last pick. It was going to be either the Colts or the Giants or the, boy, oh boy, was it the Browns? I forgot. I forgot who the, no, I forgot who the fifth team was going to be. But in any case, we did a three-way coin flip, and we ended up uh, taking the Colts. Turned out it was pretty pretty bad play. There were 843 people, but they ended up winning. So the the best play that we should have played was the Giants because they were plus you know they they were only 279 people on them. But thankfully we didn't because they got crushed. So we ended up playing kind of poorly that we didn't play all the low owned plays. But we did go five and zero. Oh. Let's go. So we started off the quarter at five and zero. Oh. So we're we're officially live. But we have to continue to put our foot on the gas and continue to make the low owned plays. You don't want to deviate from that until maybe, and I'm just making this up. Maybe if I'm in a good spot, the last week. Of the quarter, maybe I, I back off of the contrarian stuff, but I don't think so. We'll see. So let's take a look at those results, by the way. Um, there were 125 people that are tied at 5-0, and oh, and I'm one of them. So let's go. 
Uh, all right, so let's take a look at this week's stuff. And again, this is what we're, we're looking for. Um, the, the things that we know we're looking for are bad teams. And you might think, what do you mean just bad teams? Seriously, as easy as that. The bad teams that are on the road or getting points or whatever it is, nobody plays them. And you would think, and I would have thought going into the season that, that people realize this is not like survivor. Like this is not against the, this is not straight up. This is against the spread. But A, even still, like the Giants are 0% on every week. Arizona is like 0% on every week. All these teams that people perceive as bad teams, and they're, yeah, bad teams, but even against the spread, people are pounding the favorites against them. So we're going to continue to, to operate under the, sub, the presumption that it's going to finish uh, in the same way. The other thing, again, I, I just have to believe that these road fav these road underdogs um, at small prices are going to be avoided, but it just doesn't seem to be the case. Sorry about this. So this is what we have. We have a couple of teams that I know that we're going to play. Let's just kind of go through them. So Steelers, Browns, this one actually could be interesting. I wasn't going to play this, but Deshaun Watson got uh, eyes out for the season. And Pittsburgh is always higher owned than they should be, just from my experience watching this, um, because, again, they're a very popular team in general. So I thought about taking Cleveland if there's you know nothing else, but I think there's other stuff here. So the first thing here is the Cardinals against the Texans. So the Texans are just, you know, they, they, they put up points every, every freaking week. And the Cardinals are just a team that just gets avoided every week. Everybody plays against them now. It might be a little different now since they played better last week and Kyler Murray is back, so it really is uh, annoying to me. But I think this fits all of the bills. Here. You have the, you know, the, the small road uh, underdog uh, that's perceived as a bad team. Get the four and a half. I guess it's good enough for me. Uh, Chargers, Packers, again, anything right, right on that key number, I'm avoiding. I'm avoiding all push possibilities. Giants, Commanders, to me, this is, is as easy as it comes. I mean, the, the Giants are just legitimately the worst. Um, they're on the road. They're only getting eight and a half. They're going to be 2% owned again, and I'm just going to try. Uh, Jaguars, Titans, push number. We don't like that. Lions, Bears, I thought about it, uh, and I'm still going to consider this one. I don't like that it's an eight points though, and I don't like that Fields is back because I do think that 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 Fields being back makes them a lot more playable in the public eye, and the fact you can get Fields plus the eight, uh, so I'm probably going to avoid that one. Dolphins Raiders, I mean this this to me is, this is easily a candidate play. You know, Miami is good. The Raiders. I was about to say the Raiders are bad, but, you know, they are coming off of two wins, which is why um, this one scares me a little bit. I think the Raiders could be a little more popular than normal. So might not do that. But I certainly will play is the Panthers because the Panthers, they are looked at as trash, and the Cowboys just steamroll everybody. Um, so this is a perfect, perfect opportunity to take the Panthers, who no one is going to play, I think. So we're going to play that. Buccaneers against the 49ers. Uh, this looks like a perfectly, again, good candidate play. 49ers just came off a 34-3 to win. They're at home. Uh, people probably have better things to do with themselves than play the Buccaneers on the road. So I think they'll be low on. I think they're a good candidate play. Ram Seahawks, not messing with that. Minus one either way. I think people will be on both sides of that. Bills, Jets, I might have interest in this, except for the fact that it's that push line. So, minus seven, plus seven, someone else can play that, play for the push. Broncos, Vikings. This one, I, I like this one a lot, okay? You have the Broncos are coming off of two big wins against the Chiefs, and actually, did they lose that last game? Crap. They just covered, right? They win. No, they win. They, they beat. Uh, they beat consecutively. Kansas City and Buffalo, including a win at Buffalo, and now they're coming home and only giving two and a half. I mean, I'll take the Vikings here all day. Who's taking the Vikings here? 
I don't know, probably going to be me. And then this Chiefs-Eagles game, this one's annoying to me. I just imagine that people are going to be all over the Chiefs, right? How do you not take the Chiefs at home lane less than a field goal? I don't know. So to me, it looks as though the Eagles, Vikings, Bucks, Panthers, Raiders, Giants, and Cardinals are the candidate plays. But we can only take five. So what are we going to do here? I know the Giants, the Cardinals, and the Panthers are locked. Okay, those are, are clear. So how do we separate these last four? I, I don't have it in me to do like a four-way coin flip for two spots. So what do we think kind of trumps? Like Again, I'm only going to judge on wh who's going to be lowest owned of these teams. So I think about this for a second. Which team is going to be the least popular? It's got to be the Vikings, right? On the road, getting only two and a half from Denver. Coming, Denver beating Buffalo and Kansas City at the same time. So it's got to be them. It's got to be Cardinals are in. Giants are in. Panthers are in. And now it's a question of the awful Raiders, the awful Bucks, or fading the good Chiefs. I think that what we should do is not play the Chiefs game because I do think that that people will play the Eagles if for no other reason because they want you know action on that game. So it's going to be between the Raiders and the Bucks. Huh. I I honestly don't know what I'm going to end up doing. But those, th these these are my decisions. I have I have until you know I have a little. I have until Saturday, tomorrow at 2 p.m. to do it. But this is the process, okay? And this is part of my videos, my, 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 my mantra, all the videos I do. Everything that I do, somebody has to learn something. <laughs> somebody has to learn how to analyze something in the future. And this is the way you analyze contests like this. You try to get in the head of these people and think, who the hell are people going to play? Raiders are coming off of two wins. The Bucks are coming off of a win. So let's fade them. We'll, you know what? We'll just take it. That that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. Um, good luck us. I mean, we, if we go four and one again, I mean, we're heaven forbid we go five and zero. Oh, but even if we go four and one, we're still in business. So let's see what happens. And again, but but again, we're, we're really more concerned with making sure they're low owned. But L winning would be nice too. That'll do it.